welcome to another episode of the Retro Cellar, where today we're going to be shying away from the usual Chinese handheld consoles that I've been covering as of late and doing something a little different. Uh, this is the My Arcade Game Station Retro, the Data East Hits Edition. Uh, parent company, I believe, is a company called Dream Gear out of California. And what they have done is they've acquired the licenses to several different types of games um, and released them in various kinds of products, this being one of them. Uh, other products that they do have of theirs are these little mini arcades. This one being Burger Time, this one being Bad Dudes, two of which are actually on this Game Station Retro as well. And uh, they have other games like Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug. Those I also have as well. And I guess they paid a pretty penny for these licenses because my arcade uses them in tons of different products. And they're really beating a dead horse with it. But this thing has only eight of the Data East titles, uh, which are... Uh, Bad Dudes, Caveman, Ninja, Burger Time, Karate Champ, Heavy Barrel, B-Wings, Side Pocket, and Breakthrough. And the rest of them, the other 292 games, are just some kind of generic, I'm sure, crappy games that uh, they use as uh, fluff fillers on this thing. Uh, I purchased it for $15 secondhand at a community yard sale but i believe that this thing goes for around 40 dollars or did go for 40 dollars this particular variety in fact i think this one was purchased by the original owner at cvs for 39.99 like i said i got it for 15 dollars uh i've seen it on ebay going for anywhere from 10 dollars to 20 30 dollars um all of which I am sure is not worth it. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I haven't even unboxed it. So when we do the unboxing, it'll truly be my first actual look at it. But uh, I don't have high hopes for it. But I just figured it'd be funny to do a video on it. So uh, why don't we uh, do the unboxing and take a look at it. And uh, see if this would be worth your money. Probably not. All right, here we have the box of the Game Station Retro Data East Hits Edition. Uh, it's a decent looking box, I guess you could say. Uh, shows you what you get with it. A PlayStation style controller, what looks to be like, I don't know, like Xbox style controller and a, I guess like a paddle like they have with a Wii. Uh... And on the back, you see more images of that and a listing of the games, the Date East games that come with it, as previously mentioned. Uh, features packed with 300 retro games, plus eight memorable Date East titles. Yank this bad boy open and see what we're getting inside. So, wow, amazing. There you go, the two controllers. Why they're two different styles is beyond me. And the paddle. So, let's try this one. I guess this is the accessory controller. Uh, wow. This is garbage. I mean, this is absolutely terrible. In fact, the uh, plastic on this thing is it much better than the plastic that it came wrapped in? You can actually compress a little bit. I mean, this is cheap. Obviously, it's made in China, but geez, even the Chinese knockoff controllers aren't as bad as this one. There's nothing to it. It weighs nothing. You probably saw in a review that I did uh, recently with the um, 4K Game Stick Lite that came with two wireless playstation type controllers this being one of them and i was commenting on how relatively crappy this thing was you know as far as the buttons and the 
plastic that they use on it. But this piece of crap is even worse than this. This is, feels premium compared to this. I mean, this is absolute garbage. The buttons are very sticky, mushy. And obviously, since they're 8 bit games, it doesn't have any shoulder buttons that wouldn't be necessary or analog sticks. I mean, this is crap. Horrible. So let's look at the pseudo PlayStation, or not PlayStation, Xbox controller. Also very crappy. I guess this is where the game chip is actually located in here. Because you have to plug this one into this one. And then plug this into your TV in order to get it to work and play two player games. But uh, this is made from the same cheap crappy plastic as this. Weighs nothing. Um, has what I guess you could call like an analog stick here. That's very loose and I mean, you don't even know if that's going to register properly it's crap uh this really crappy select button uh that's probably just a light these buttons are garbage uh nothing else on it except for i guess it's the power switch or i don't know it says battery and usb on it uh this is where you would hook up the other controller and then, here's the RCA cables that you use to hook this up to uh, your TV. And I'm assuming that this is a USB power source as well. Maybe. I mean, I don't really know what that's for. I guess we'll figure that out when we look at the instructions. Uh, absolute garbage. And this is the paddle to play, like, tennis games, ping pong games, or something. Kind of like what you get with the Wii. This is actually better quality than this. <laughs> Still crap, but it's better than that. And let's look at the Game Station Retro Manual. Uh, really not much to it, just... A few pages in English and then other languages like Spanish and I'm sure French but um yeah not much so why don't we just uh, hook this piece of crap up take a look at it and see what you think about it so here we have the game station retro hooked up it's relatively simple to hook it up uh, just use the RCA cables, that which is only two, so one is audio, one is video, and uh, because you only get one audio, it's mono, not that it really matters with this, and the USB plug was actually power, so I didn't have to use batteries on this thing. So, uh, there's actually 308 games, I thought it was 300 games with eight of them being the Data East games, but it was actually... 308 in total. So you can see the first eight are obviously the Caveman Ninja, Breakthrough Bad Dudes, Heavy Barrel, all those. And let's scroll through. There's Table Tennis, which we'll probably use that little paddle. Uh, battle Plan, the Fire Shark. I mean, there's huh, Outrun. I wonder if that is the Outrun. I somehow doubt it, or it's funny Yeah, so the rest of them are just kind of generic games. This menu is really crappy. Kind of like the same menu that you use in the low-end uh, Chinese knockoff handhelds. Uh, like the menu that was used in the Sup 2. Nothing that you would expect in a device that retailed for $40. A lot of them are just going to be like a guess as to what they even are. Hammer and nail. Robot tank bug catcher. Toad in the hole. That sounds dirty. 
<laughs> you gotta love the names on some of these though. Cute fish. Panzer attack. Ah, that sounds interesting. Hockey. Uh, pinball game. Dice. Ass art. I wonder what that's all about. Huh. Is this for kids? And, uh, uh, box, blob man, and back to here. So why don't we, uh, look at one of these. Let's look at bad dudes. On this TV, it looks a little pixelated. doesn't look great on here, but I didn't really expect it. All right, here we go. Wow. So on this $40 device, we have loads of screen tearing. Look at the background. Look at the characters, the little ninjas. They, they're all blinky. This is terrible. Here we have Heavy Barrel. Wow. Wow, that screen tearing is bad. Look at that. And I hope that comes across on camera. When you stay still, it looks all right, but wow, look at all that screen tearing. Wow, this is awful. You can actually see the uh, gunfire when you're moving. When you stay still, you can, but when you're moving, you can't even see the gunfire. It's a mess of the background. Oh, wow, this is god awful. And I didn't have nice things to say about that, that 4K game stick, but man, this makes that look awesome. This is B Wings. Wow, the controls are terrible on this. That is bad. Carrying, well, see how the uh, glitchy the ships are, but the screen tearing is not as bad on this. We are playing classic burger time. Yeah, and the controls be so bad on this. Let's try this Outrun game to see if it is the Outrun. It is not. <laughs> uh, I guess it's like Frogger. Where's the character? So, somewhere around here. I think I have a character. Oh, look, there he was, I think. So, as soon as I get an opportunity, let's get this guy out of there. Oh, I guess he can't go in the water. So we're going to try to play table tennis here. I have no idea how it's going to work. I'm not sure that it is. Oh, it does work. Sort of. Yeah, boo. That's not really 
doing much of anything. There. Oh. This doesn't work for crap. I don't really know that this is doing anything. Oh, yeah, it is. So you can occasionally hit it back, but this is crappy. This is a game called Shark. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I'm that fish, orange fish swimming around the top. I'm not supposed to do whatever I just did. I guess I... Well, I guess I rescue the other fish. And try to avoid the shark. Oh, I can't touch those. So, these games don't come with instructions. Or have any way to find out what those instructions are. So, there are some creatures you're allowed to touch, and others that you're not. And I don't know which ones I'm supposed to touch, which ones I'm not. You don't realize it yet, but the real reason you're here is to see what this game ass art is all about. Please let it be what I think it's about. Apparently, a lot of the games here, you have to figure out what you're doing, and I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, we're going to play Curly Monkey, which is like a, uh, ooh, you can shoot, a Mario looking game of some sort. Oh, you got me first. UFO and this looks like crap already. So uh, you can't shoot. So you just avoid things, I guess. Again, without having instructions, I don't know if I'm supposed to touch these things or avoid them. Let's touch this. Oh well, yeah, you touch that. Touch that. Uh, how about that? Nope, don't touch that. So I guess touch those little balls. So avoid everything else and touch balls. Flashing balls. So here we are with F22. Please let this be a decent game. Uh, lots of screen tearing. Kind of like B Wing. is all about. Uh, okay, I'm just going to assume. Try not to let the eggs crack, I guess. Kind of like kaboom, I think. 
So this is Pong Pong. Uh, let's see if it utilizes the wireless paddle. Nope. Oh, you're coming out of a butthole in the middle. And I don't know what you're doing. So you have almost no control over the vehicle. It can only do a slight circle. I have no idea what this does. Here we have something called Small Dinosaur. I don't know. Let's just look at it. Oh, so it's another Kaboom kind of game. Catch stuff, I guess. All right, here we have a game called Superhero. And you're in a superhero car, apparently. I can chew things in my superhero car. This is awful real aliens down there, little ETs. So, Here's a game called Galagant. Um, it is a crappy looking shooter game. And you only go side to side and shoot everything coming at you. Intermittently shoot at things, I should say. Alright, we are playing tennis, and uh, I believe we're, this is the only other game that warrants you having to use that paddle. They probably could have dealt out these crappy games and just not do the paddle. But, let's see if it works. One set is good. Alright, let's see. Try to serve it. You know, I have no idea. There's no buttons on the paddle, so it's not like you could do anything. Overhand, underhand, swing, just keep whacking. Here we have a game called Merry Christmas. Who knows what kind of game it is? I guess we'll figure this one out too. So you're Santa and you're out doing things. Am I supposed to collect that? I don't know. How about that? Do I have to go where that arrow is? Are you pressing? No idea what this is. Go so through here? I don't know. Here is a game called Jig Chick. Again, have no idea what this is. Is it like a Qbert game? I, I don't know. Looks like it's Qbert. Yeah, it's a Qbert ripoff. Let's just do one more. I don't think there's a point to doing much more than this. We'll do one more and go by. If it has a cool name, I guess. Hey, how about we do motorbike? Maybe it's like Excite Bike. Probably not. Whoa, that looks special. Uh, what are you doing? Avoid things or grab things. Uh, this is 
is awful. All right, I'm done with this. Well, that uh, just about does it for our review of the My Arcade Game Station Retro Data East Edition. Um, I have reviewed a bunch of stuff on this show, and I have a lot more stuff in my collection, things that I have in the pipeline in the future. And so far, this is by far the crappiest, cheapest, most horrible device I have ever purchased. I feel bad for anybody that paid $40 full retail for this thing. I feel bad that I paid 15 bucks for it. I feel like I was swindled there. This thing was completely useless. Garbage. Only one game utilized it, and it didn't even play well. And the controllers are crap. The game selection... It's crap, and, you know, unless you really, really, really like those eight games from Day to East on it, don't get this. I mean, you can get it in other formats that are way better than this garbage. Uh, there are no directions on these games, so it, you turn them on, hit start, and just try and figure it out. A lot of them are just really, really, truly crappy games. Uh... This will probably never be played again. Uh, I'm a collector, so it will remain in a collection. Uh, if I wasn't, this would wind up in the garbage or stomped on. But, uh, I mean, at least these things, at least, they look nice. I mean, I don't play these that often, made by the same company. Uh, but they look good sitting on a shelf. And every now and then I pick them up and play them. But, uh, uh, and the build quality on these isn't great, but it's it's got some heft to it. This, I, I don't know what they were thinking. This is absolute crap. I'm actually angry. I'm going to end this video now. See you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully we'll avoid garbage like this in the future.